Hello, how are y'all doing today? So I just had an amazing workout. Um, I thought I was streaming and I didn't realize YouTube didn't have a persistent live stream key. So I'm new to YouTube and live streaming there. So that's okay. Um, I'm going to do another practice. Um, it's going to be a pranayama and meditation practice. So I did a super like workout earlier with a yoga asana going through all the postures and poses and stuff thinking I was live streaming and then didn't go live so that's okay um, the next thing yoga prepares us for breathing pranayama and that prepares us for meditation so I would love to have meditation with you and pranayama and we're going to practice alternate nostril breathing and maybe a little bit of breath of fire to kind of like strengthen the lungs and strengthen the the core and the abs and everything. So, okay, well, let's get started. So what you'll want is something to lift your hips. So I have a meditation cushion. You don't have to have that. It could just be a folded up blanket. Um, I do like to have a blanket also to place under my feet. And then I like to have another blanket. So maybe, maybe a, a pillow and two blankets for you here. I've got my little Schnauzer coffee mug, which I'll set to the side. And I'm just gonna check here. I'll bring my phone with me because we're gonna be doing Insight Timer uh, to help us during our meditation practice. And I also want to make sure that I am live here. So hopefully I am. This is kind of what it was like in the in the yoga asana practice where I'd go through and I'd be like, I don't think I'm live right now, but <clears throat> see here. Yes, so I am. So that's good. Okay. And also I like to pull that up because I want to know if there's anyone who has questions. So if you have questions, feel free to type them in the chat. There may be a little bit of a delay. I think there's a built-in delay. And that's okay. Um, so get comfy, get cozy on your seat here. So elevate the hips. <clears throat> Another thing that's really good to do before we do breath of fire is to get a handkerchief or um, Kleenex or whatever and blow your nose. So I'm gonna All right, so I just wanted to so it wasn't too loud, I just muted that. But blow your nose, and that way this nasal passage is clear for you. And I think we're good to go. So we're gonna do alternate nostril breathing and breath of fire, and then follow it by some maybe ocean breath just to calm down after breath of fire, and then some meditation. So. Alternate nostril breathing. So you have your thumb and your index finger are going to be the connectors here. And this is um, a mudra, mudra, prativi mudra, um, for embodiment, centeredness, grounding. It reduces stress and blood pressure. It strengthens digestion and assimilation, supports the posture and skeletal system. So we did that during a lot of our uh, practice this morning, which I, sorry, I didn't, I didn't, it was my practice this morning that didn't get live streamed, but that's okay. It'd be fine, we're gonna do this now. And so these are the two fingers that we use on to close the nostrils. So we're, we're gonna be closing one side of the nostril, inhaling in, and then switching to the ring finger on there, exhaling out, inhaling in, switching back to the original thumb on the, on the right nostril and exhaling out. So that would be one cycle. And I know I went through that really fast, but don't worry, I'm gonna go through it. We're actually gonna do a, like a, um, a, a demo one, a sample one. We're just gonna walk through one, um, a cycle of alternate nostril breathing. But first I wanted to explain that alternate nostril breathing centers the, the mind. So it, it, it balances both hemispheres of the brain and which is further supported by this amazing mudra um, Prativi Mudra. Okay, so I've got my right hand here. So I'm gonna demo with my left hand just so that we're mirror image the first time around. And then once we actually do 
Um, we're gonna do six rounds of it. Once we do that, I'll switch to my right hand because you always want to use your right hand in this alternate nostril breathing technique. Okay, so place your thumb on your right nostril and then inhale in through your left nostril. And then you're gonna switch at the top of the breath, placing the ring finger on the left nostril and then exhaling out the right nostril. So this hand, I'm just demonstrating the breath so you don't actually have to do your hand like this. And then you'll keep that ring finger on the nostril and inhale back in the right nostril. At the top of the breath, switch to the thumb on the right nostril and exhale out the left nostril. Now that is one full round of alternate nostril breathing. And a key point in it is that you want your exhales to be slower than your inhales. So inhale with gusto and force, and then exhale with ease and softness. Okay, so let us begin placing that right thumb on the right nostril. So now we look like we're doing opposites. And then on your resting hand, you can place it on your, your knee and then connect your ring finger and your thumb together there. Yeah, all right. So inhaling while placing the thumb on that nostril on the right nostril, inhaling in through the left. Switching to the ring finger and exhaling out the right nostril. Easy exhale. Inhale with gusto. And then switch to the thumb, exhale out. So that was one round. We're gonna do five more rounds. Inhale in. Switch and exhale. Keep your, finger, your ring finger on there, inhale in. Place the thumb, release the ring finger, and exhale. Inhale in. Switch to the ring finger and exhale. This is our fourth round, or four more rounds after this. Inhale in. Switch and exhale. Beginning our third round. <laughs> Sound funny, third. Place the ring finger on and exhale with ease, relaxation. Squeeze out all the air, inhale in. Switch to the thumb and exhale. Third round complete, inhale, fourth round. And switch to the ring finger and exhale. Inhale in. Switch. You can close your eyes if you haven't already and try this on your own on this fifth round. The sixth round together. Inhale. Switch to the ring finger and exhale. Easy, relax the jaw. Inhale in. Switch to the thumb and exhale. Release the palms down. There we go. Alternate nostril breathing. 
All right. Breath of fire. So with breath of fire, we force out our breath. And this is why if you haven't blown your nose yet, go grab a rag and blow the nose because you might have some unwanted guests out here in front of you. <laughs> if you don't, okay. Uh, so yeah, take, take a moment, clean the filters, clean the nose. And then with breath of fire, we forcefully exhale and we don't control the inhale. The inhale is just natural. So just try a few. You could go slow. Or you can go faster. So it's completely up to you. And if you start to get dizzy during breath of fire, which is common, so don't worry if you get dizzy, stop the breath of fire, just place your hands down, return to natural breathing until you feel natural and normalized again. And then we can stop. Okay, so I'm gonna start my Insight Timer app because I wanna time this for a minute. We're just gonna do one minute. And one minute may seem like a lot. Now, if it's not a lot for you, if you're used to practicing longer, feel free to go for it. But a minute is, um, is a long time for a breath of fire. So we're not gonna have any music. And then we'll start, you should, Let's see, we want the volume up. Okay, you're gonna have your index finger and thumb together. Breathe in, breath of fire begins. We're about halfway done. Fifteen more seconds. Force it out. Force it out. Five. it. Feel your muscles here at the base of your ribs. Crazy burning. Inhale the arms up. Interlace the fingers. Point the pointer fingers. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Squeeze that navel in. Hold the breath in. Lock in the energy. Tuck the chin down and back slightly. when you're ready <sighs> yeah <sighs> okay very good so just ocean breath so normalizing the body sending the energy that was just moved around through the breath of fire so ocean breath so constriction in the back of the throat <sighs> that kind of breathing <sighs> like <sighs> oh my goodness so, and then exhale, so. But with the mouth closed and try that breath, inhaling in. Expand the abdomen, exhale out. And take your awareness to your nostrils right here. Notice where the breath comes into the nostrils. And then you'll inhale the air in like it's a balloon filling up all the way down here below the belly button and then exhaling out. Imagine that balloon, sh balloon shrinking. So you don't have to do your hands like that. It's just a demonstration of the breath. And your belly should feel, should expand out. So inhaling in. Inhaling in. And 
Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to face back forward and we're going to count that. So with your countings, I want you to say something positive in your mind. And that's very something short and positive like, I am beautiful. I am radiant. I am safe. Something that feels nice and comfortable for you. So on our inhales, we're going to say that short statement in our minds. We're going to inhale it five times. And then we're going to exhale saying that statement seven times. And I'll keep track of the counting. And it's going to be to the rhythm of, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. And so you can just say it in your mind. Um, and I'll do the counting and I'll tell you when to inhale and exhale. Okay. So take in a deep breath. You can connect your in ring and thumb together, ring finger and thumb, and then gently place your hands on your knees or in your lap, whatever is most comfortable for you. And take another deep inhale and release. Begin your five count inhale. And exhale to the count of seven. Release. Inhale to the count of five. Exhale to seven. Pause and inhale to the count of five. And exhale to seven. Fully exhale and fully inhale to the count of five. And exhale to seven. We're going to extend that inhale to six. Exhale to eight. 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 Last time. Inhale six. And exhale eight. And release. If your eyes were closed, you can gently flutter them open slowly. So no rush here. You may notice that you have a buildup of saliva or more saliva in your mouth and that's very natural and what that is an indication of is that you've activated your parasympathetic nervous system what is that the parasympathetic nervous system is your rest and digest nervous system so if you think of the fight or flight we may be more familiar with the fight or flight and what that is. that's the sympathetic nervous system so this is the opposite it kind of pulls that down it gets you into that rest and digest mode so you kind of feel more like, ah, I'm zen, <laughs> floating around. So, and that's what we want. That's the whole point of all this, to get us into that state. And now we're going to shift into meditation. So we're going to do eight minutes of meditation here. You're welcome to do longer. It's actually a really beautiful practice. You do like 30 minutes, you know, or 20 minutes. Very beautiful. Um, go ahead and switch which leg is on top just to adjust. Get yourself nice and centered here. And I'm using Insight Timer. Insight Timer is so beautiful because it has 
um, music that you can play. And I'm going to do OM. OM. That symbol is OM. Okay. All right. Let's continue our mudra practice as well. If you would like, you don't have to, but you can. Placing your ring finger and your thumb together. Just resting them on your lap or knees. And you'll hear a bell in five seconds after I press this button. And then after eight minutes, you'll hear another bell. So we'll close our eyes. <clears throat> and about to begin here in five, four, three.
bring the palms together and generate some heat by rubbing the palms, creating fiction. Cover your eyes. Gently flutter your eyes open beneath your palms. Take in a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly let light beneath your palms by pulling them away from your face. There we are. Hello. So we'll bring hands back together in front of heart center. Take a deep inhale. And sound one ohm. Oh. Ah. Sorry. The divine light and the divine grace that is in me recognizes and so appreciates the divine light and grace that is in you. Namaste. I want to say hello to all my friends, all of you out there who are around the world, not just where I am at, but where I'm at is morning and where you, at, you are at maybe evening or, um, but just want to say hello, hello to Germany, hello to, that's the only person who said hi to me, someone from Germany, so hello, my friend. And um, I would love to hear from you, so please comment, um, like, subscribe. It's always wonderful to stay connected. And to my friend Denise, thank you so much for your words of kindness and encouragement. You are so um, beautiful and such a shining light, and you you do make a difference in within me. So thank you. And um, anyways, I just want to reach out to everyone, say sup and hey, and so glad you're here and. Um, my family, of course, is so wonderful. My husband's so amazing. So, so blessed. Uh, apparently, that uh, that meditation kind of got me into a spot where I feel very grateful, um, very grateful for everything and for this uh, yoga, uh, yoga YouTube setup, so that we could share yoga together and just share together. All right. Well, my next class is going to be tomorrow evening on Twitch. So, um, four. Is it 4.30? It's not really quite evening, but uh, 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, would it be April the 22nd? Yeah, Wednesday, April 22nd, 4.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, not here, but on Twitch, and then I'll be back here on Thursday at the same time, so 4.30 Central Standard Time on Thursday here on YouTube. So I'm kind of still testing the waters, seeing um, YouTube and Twitch and which one. Uh, Twitch has been really great for interacting, like live interacting with people. Um, it's very wonderful. I think it helps to build a community. YouTube seems to be more broad, maybe further reaching. Maybe. I don't know. I'm still kind of testing the waters on that. So, all right. Well, I had a couple of like tears come up. Well, just one really on my, my left eye, kind of in the center of that meditation. And I just wanted to look up, like, I think there's like vata, pitta, kapha tears. If you have not heard of vata, pitta, kapha, you must find out which one you are. Um, because it's kind of, it's good to know, am I vata, am I pitta, am I kapha? And what those stand for or represent is vata is the air and space element, air and ether. Um, that's vata. And pitta is the fire and earth. So whew, fire and earth. Um, and then kapha is the water in earth, so very stable. So pitta, fire, driven, vata, gets things moving. It's what moves everything is the air, and it creates the space for everything. So it all, it all works together. We all have certain levels of vata, pitta, kapha, um, but each of ours are different. So um, banyanbotanicals.com has a really good test for it. Maybe I'll post the link if I can real quick in the, yeah, if I can, I'll post the link really quick in our chat here. Here we are. Paste. There we go. So that is a, a link where you can go to, to take your doshic quiz. 
I think Joyful Belly has one too, so uh, which I've heard was really good too. So I'll find that one. And then you can find out, and there are some people who are evenly all three. There's some people who are just one and then a mix of like predominantly two. So for me, mine is Pitta, is my primary, so it's like split right in the middle, Pitta, and then Kapha, um, which I like that. Kapha is a very good dosha. I'm, I'm a fan <laughs> um, because I, it's a grounding, stabilizing, stable, calm. I like that, um, but there's no like, you know, this, there's no better dosha than the other. They all work together. All right, I did find the Ayurvedic quiz for on Joyful Belly. So Joyful Belly is so amazing too, that website, because it's so informational on um, like the foods that we eat and whether they increase any of those doshas within ourselves. So like cilantro, coriander, for example, is, is a cooling herb. Lime is cooling. So those pacify pitta. Um, things that are heating. You can just think of anything that heats you up. Jalapenos. <laughs> Those will get like the pitta aggravated. Anything spicy. Um, lemon is warming. Honey is warming. So not to the extent of a jalapeno, but uh, it increases those. Meat uh, is sweet, has a sweet. You don't even think, well, meat is sweet, but Look up like any type of meat on Joyful Belly and you'll see it has a sweet quality um, to it, which may increase uh, kapha. So anyways, check out those, either one of those websites are great. Banyan offers um, products like um, Trifala, uh, which is, good, is help, helpful for the digestion. Like if you're backed up, you take that and it just, it helps and it's not too like strong or anything. I'm on the Prime Cleanse right now, I'm on stage two and um, enjoying that very much. I'm enjoying it very much, and I take Trifala every night, T-R-I-P-H-A-L-A, I believe. And all it is, it's three berries. Amla berry is one of them, and I don't know the other two off the top of my head. But it's three ground-up berries into powder form, taken either in pill form or drunk, like in powder mixed in a drink. Uh, I kind of like the powder better. Okay, so if you, because of the feedback, if you drink the powder and it tastes really tart, really bitter, it's just an indication that there's an imbalance. But if you, when you drink Trifala and it's um, very cooling, I mean, not cooling, like has a good taste to it, um, that just indicates that your body is more in balance. It's just an indication. I mean, there are other factors in there and that can't be the only test that you do, but it's just an indication. So anyways, I've kind of gone into a, to a tangent, but to the point of, you know, I, I hope that you stay with me in, in doing yoga and doing pranayama and meditation practices. Um, and you'll hear me mention things about vata, pitta, kapha throughout um, my teaching. And so that you will know what I'm talking about um, and that you know where you are and where you stand in that. So when I say, this pose increases pitta, well then you'll know, well maybe I should take it easy in that pose because my pitta is already elevated. My fire is already elevated. I don't need that to be elevated. So you would take it easier in that pose. So it just, it helps you, it helps your practice and on your journey. All right, well I am done. I'm excited, this was a wonderful class. And I just want to come and say, bring my coffee mug and say thank you so much for stopping by. I've really enjoyed having you here today and I look forward to seeing you next time. So have a wonderful day.